I didn't expect much, to be honest. I thought it was just going to be a, a trip and, you know, that I was going to, you know, go and have a good time, hang out with some other vets. I didn't expect what I got. What I got was a, an empty mind. These guys gave up so much for us. You can't give up enough. It's going to be a great start to a great ride this year. There's a large subsect of veterans that have been left behind as a result of having traumatic brain injuries or PTS. Because, you know, it's easier when you can see something. It's harder when you can't see it. That desert, in my opinion, was one of the crucial parts of the trip. It was a killer, man. My bike said 114, one guy said he read 118. Almost like Afghanistan. Hot as hell, but still excited. Everybody reverted back to being in the military. Everybody reverted back to checking on their buddy make sure everybody was drinking water. And everybody just kind of pulling for one another. That started the bonding process right there. Ready to hit Vegas. The fact that with Indian and Victory are so dedicated to our, our, our forces just shows you their commitment to the, to the community itself. All I can speak to with my personal PTSD is that at first, yeah, I felt like civilians didn't get it. But after being on this ride, I was exposed to so many people that did get it and so many people that did understand and were compassionate about it. These ladies and gentlemen here, you know, uh, they deserve our utmost respect and admiration. Driving in and out of canyons and the walls of the cliff faces going up hundreds and hundreds of feet, it, it looks like a Polaroid picture, you know, that's just going to disappear all of a sudden if you don't pay close enough attention. For me, being in the sidecar is really nice because I could just kind of sit back, relax, um, enjoy the scenery, and uh, it gave you that good sense of freedom and you know, just kind of helps you clear your head and stop thinking about all the negative things that you may be having going on in your life at that moment. It kind of all goes away and you can just enjoy the ride. Being a sidecar pilot is probably one of the biggest privileges I've ever had. I've been riding motorcycles for you know, pretty much all my life. And riding a sidecar, there's just a whole other dynamic to it because it's a team relationship. You keep them alive because you're piloting and your passenger keeps you alive. And just to be able to get to know Jed on the road while we were traveling and sharing those experiences. I'm always have some place that I'm gonna go back to. I didn't realize how beautiful that place was. Climbing up rocks with uh, your friends and stuff and having a good time, laughing. And that place was amazing. That place was unbelievable. I loved it. You know, being up here in Moab with the Veterans uh, Charity Ride is pretty amazing. We're getting space, we're getting together. The guys are, are just bonding and having a great time and laughing and joking and telling stories and just getting to know each other. And that's such a big part of what we're doing. Being a uh put around veterans uh, or just people in general that have the same kind of issues that I do. Finding the right words for me a lot of times is, is pretty difficult. I get a stutter. Um, remembering details is pretty hard. Um, concentration is a real issue. Um, and this helped on that a lot because you're riding in a pack. My mind would start to wander and I'd back off from the pack and I'd have to pull myself together again. Maybe their reasons are more visible than mine, and you know they struggle with that because people see them and, and, and automatically know, you know, if they tell them they were a veteran, they automatically know why they got out or what that something happened to them, and you know, share our share our ups and downs about you know how how we're going to do this, how we're going to move on to the next phase or the next chapter. You know, when I first talked to Dave. Uh, he mentioned that he coined this phrase to me, this motorcycle therapy, and I thought, oh, you know, that's, uh, you know, you're just making that up, you know, because I've been riding since 2009. Um, and it really does kind of cure the soul uh, to be out in the open road on, on this big motorcycle with uh, a group of your friends and 
you know, find these random back roads to, to carve through. It really is something just really special. Craig was a moment for me of clarity. That small town came out in mass to welcome us and cooked for us and took care of us. It was, it was so sobering to pull in and see the, the amount of a compassion and, and caring. I can't tell you how many people walked up to me and thanked me for my service. We'll always find a veteran no matter where you go. We always have one thing in common, and that's our brotherhood. Help me let my guard down and help me embrace what everyone was there trying to give us, what message they were trying to tell us because you do get to meet the people in small towns like Craig, Colorado, and where you get to feel more of that American flavor of the Midwest. We went over this mountain pass outside of Winter Park, and there was so much fog, you could barely see the tail light in front of you. You know, whether it's Air Force or Marines or Army, um, Navy, everybody powered through that thing, and that was, a, that was a brutal rainstorm. Next thing I know, I saw things bouncing off of my jacket, and I was thinking to myself, rain doesn't bounce. So it started sleeting on us. How was the rain? <laughs> <sighs> Nobody quit, and I talked to guys afterwards, and everybody's like, I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah, I could do this on my own, but it's, it's, it wouldn't be the same. It, this makes it, the people here make the difference. It's not the bikes, it's not the trip, it's not Sturgis, it's the people that make the difference. Everybody's been good about watching out for one another and stuff, so it's been nice. If I didn't go on this ride, you know, or if like <laughs> these two weeks were spent at home, you know, or these two weeks still were in the mindset that I had before, it could have, you know, just been going in a, in a um, negative direction as opposed to, you know, now it pushes it back up to, you know, a positive, um, yeah, healthy kind of mind. Uh, these guys are all, they're all just great. I mean, everybody gets along, no problems. Everybody's watching each other's back. And I knew I was gonna, of course, ride a bike cross country. And I was expecting, okay, that's gonna be cool. I'm gonna see some things. But what happened along the ride, and which I did, did not expect, is it kind of changed my life. And what I mean by that, it gave me an outlook, or a different outlook on things. Um, how I look at, you know, my demons, how I look at, you know, my problems and just day-to-day -day living and, um, you know, give me a new way to look at my family and appreciate everything that they've gone through to support me. Who else gets a police escort through downtown Sturgis? You know, nobody, nobody that I know of. But then when we rode into Sturgis and you see the, the people waving and smiling and videotaping and the streets were standing still so that everyone could observe us coming through, it was just the most welcoming feeling. It was moving to see that there are people across this country that actually care. I mean, they're, they're out there for no other reason but to support us and say thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the veterans from our 2016 Veterans Charity Ride. Right On behalf of my brothers and sisters and myself, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity. I would like to say thank you for all the support we are receiving. And I would like to just say thank you to everybody for showing up and actually supporting the veterans. I can't thank you enough. God bless you. This ride could go anywhere. You, could, you don't have to go to Sturgis for this ride to be successful. And as long as you have that journey and that camaraderie on the road, and people getting to know each other and helping through, you know, the, the tough situations and sharing the great experiences. That's what it's all about for me. The three weeks on the Veterans Charity Ride was more therapy than, than I've received in three years with the VA. The whole idea of this ride, um, I was a little skeptical about it. I love riding motorcycles, but I'd never thought of it in the therapeutic way. Um, I know that when I go out at home and ride, I feel better afterwards, but I'd never put the two together. It just feels so positive that 
just can't help but be excited about it. This is my new happy place, this ride. You know, I, I've had a happy place all my life and people laugh about that, but when I was going through something rough or something, I'd close my eyes and imagine one place where I was when I was a child that made me feel safe, made me feel happy. Instances on this ride, hanging out with these guys, this is my new happy place. This therapy, motorcycle therapy, is a really good idea and it really helps.